Sorry it's a little windy today, but I might just call right now. Show you the effects of the salt water on the unit and what you can do to prevent it. These two units were put in basically at the same time. Well, they were put in the same time. Believe it or not, they're only two and a half years old. Now look at the corrosion on them. They are corroded. Let me get a closer look at the coils in this thing. And it is ate up. I mean, it's roast. It is ate up pretty good. Two and a half years. Maybe two. Two years. A little over two years. This is the beach. Right in the backyard, so you're getting the full effects of it. Sorry it's windy today on the beach, so. I might have to edit the sound a little bit, or not. Look at the filter dryer. And if I can get into that, look at, it's a little oily there. If you can see, it's oily. I know it's a leaking now. It's got a call, it's not, it's not working properly, not cooling, getting cool enough, so I know for a fact that's the culprit right there. Cause it is good and oily. That thing has to be took out. Sight glass. I'm gonna change all that out today. Just look at this line. I need to change this whole line out. It's oxidated. Bad. It's all corroded up. So I'm probably taking that whole line out. I mean, two-year-old system, she may say she want to change it out, but she just want to get a little more use out of it. I, I don't blame her. It's two years old. Look at the other one. Just check up, take a look at this one. It's no better. No better. I can get the coils. The coils a little bit better on this one because the other unit taking a full blunt of it. But two years old. That's why people don't understand why maintenance is so important on these systems. This is like why I'm heading over. This is like get this date of the unit. 2015, baby. Like I say, unit like been, was installed like two years ago, a little over two years. They could have got protected coils. Now I'll show you the difference. You do have one with coated coils on it. This side, it's all you know. But she also has a unit on the other side and I'll show you those they was put in the same time and I'm gonna tell you the only difference is the only difference is she had one other thing installed that helped these units a lot major difference major difference you can as you can see already look at this these coils are nice. Same same area, same beach, same, it's in the same spot. And look at it. Say, oh, why is this one so clean? That is the reason why. She had a sprinkler head coming up here and it sprays it down. She actually had two of them. She's replacing them right at this moment. That's why this one's capped off. But that was a major difference on it. That's that that totally made a big difference. I mean, 
but as you can see, it's corroded a lot. It's, it is corroded. I'm not going to say it, it totally helped it because it's corroded. But it does make a little difference. And that looks like calcium more like a lot of calcium build up in there. But you have, you have to come in and maintenance these units a lot. I mean, babysit these units. These, this unit is a two-year-old unit, so just think of that. Look at the effects of the salt. I mean, it kills the units. If you want them to last, say, five years on the beach, I mean, you have to babysit this unit. You have to babysit them. Which I think is well worth it because these systems should last at least six years. If you're getting that salt out of those coils and at least get bi monthly maintenance plans, that's what I would recommend. It'll, it'll save more money than replacing these things. Now, this is uncoated coils. Now, I'm going to take you to another unit that has coated coils on it. Okay, here go to coated coils. As you can see, salt got to it, but it's, it's American Standard. Sounds pretty nice. As you can see, the coils, this is a coated coil. The coils are doing pretty good on this one doing pretty good. You see no corrosion. No wear to the cores, but the unit itself is, is rusting a lot. They don't have the sprinkler head system on it. She just installed the sprinkler head on that other system too. I meant to say that. She just got that a week ago on that one. I don't know why she waited so late for it, but this system core is looking good. Well, instead of changing out the lines and that filter dryer, we end up putting two new systems in. She said go ahead and pop them in. So put a two and a half ton for the upstairs and a three ton for the downstairs, both Goodmans. Changed out the lines. She's fed up with the, the liquid line dryer. So we cleaned the system, flushed the system out pretty good. She said she don't want that on because it's been a problem lately for her. That's where the main problem is coming from, so uh, I tried to get the video of putting them in, but owner was in, so I didn't want to be filming while the owner's over my back. She was here the whole time while we was filming, was installing the system, so that's that, man. At least we got them in. And running good. Run, one's running right now. It's pretty quiet. I'm not sure how it sounds on camera right now but it's pretty quiet all right fellas take it easy and as you can see the sprinkler heads on these from the start now so shouldn't have that rust issue we'll see anyway I'll keep it updated the use of those sprinklers help pretty good so we'll see thanks for watching up to come by John